upon the death of the late Earl of Rochester by Aphra ben Morn, Morn, ye muses, all your loss deplore, the young, the noble Strephon is no more. Yes, yes, he fled quick as departing light, and ne'er shall rise from death's eternal night, so rich a prize the Stygian gods ne'er bore, such wit, such beauty, never grack their shore. He was but lent this duller world tearn prove in all. The charms of poetry and love, both were his gift, which freely he best out, and like a god, dealt to the wandering crowd. Scorning the little vanity of fame, spite of himself attained a glorious name. But oh, in vain was all his peevish pride, the sun as soon might his vast luster hide, as piercing, pointed, and more lasting bright, as suffering no vicissitudes of night. Mourn, mourn, ye muses, all your loss deplore, the young, the noble Strephon is no more. Now uninspired upon your banks we lie, unless when we wooed moam his elegy. His name's a genius that wooed wit dispense, and give the theme a soul, the words a sense. But a fine thought that revished when it spoke with the soft youth eternal leave has took. Uncommon wit that did the soul. Oricum, is buried all in Strephon's worship tomb. Satyr has lost its art, its sting is gone, the fop and cully now may be undone. That dear instructing rage is now eyed, and no sharp pen dares tell him how they've strayed. Bold as a god was every lash he took, but kind and gentle the chastising stroke. Mourn, mourn, ye youths, whom fortune has betrayed, the last. Reproacher of your vice is dead. Mourn, all ye beauties, put your cypress on, the truest swain that e'er adored you's gone. Think how he loved, and writ, and sight, and spoke, recall his mien, his fashion, and his look. By what dear arts the soul he did surprise, soft is his voice, and charming is his eyes. Bring garlands all of never-dying flowers, bedewed with everlasting. Failing showers. Fix your fair eyes upon your victim's slave, sent gay and young to his untimely grave. See where the noble swain extended lies, too sad a triumph of your victories. Adamed with all the graces heaven e'er lent, all that was great, soft, lovely, excellent you've laid into his early monument. Mourn, mourn, ye beauties, your sad loss deplore, the young, the charming. Strephon is no more. Mourn, all ye little gods of love, whose darts have lost their wanted power of piercing hearts. Lay by the gilded quiver in the bow, the useless toys can do no mischief now, those eyes that all your arrows points inspired, those lights that gave ye fire are now retired, cold as his tomb, pale as your mother's doves. Bewail him then, O oh, all ye little loves, for you the humblest votary have lost that ever your divinities could boast. Upon your hands your weeping heads decline, and let your wings encompass round his shrine. Instead of flowers your broken arrows strow, and at his feet lay the neglected bow. Mourn, all ye little gods, your loss deplore, the soft, the charming Strephon is no more. Large was his fame, but short. His glorious race, like young Lucretius and died apace. So early roses fade, so over all they cast their fragrant scents, then softly fall, while all the scattered perfumed leaves declare, how lovely twas when whole, how sweet, how fair. Had he been to the Roman Empire known, when great Augustus filled the peaceful throne, had he the noble wondrous poet seen, and known his genius, and surveyed his mien, when wits and heroes gracked divine abodes. He had increased the number of their gods. The royal judge had temples reared to his name, and made him as immortal as his fame. In love and verse his Ovid he had outdone, and all his laurels, and his Julia won. Mourn, mourn, unhappy world, his loss deplore, the great, the charming Strephon is no more.